Hey, good Friday morning, everyone. It's Eric here with a video blog for you as we kick off the weekend for some later on today and into uh, the weekend. We've got some interesting weather to talk about. We've got a threat for some storms as we go into the afternoon today. So let's get right to it and show you what we're talking about. Pretty good looking line of storms this morning out across parts of western Ohio. Uh, these are non-severe, but still uh, some downpours associated with this. And this continues to push off towards the Columbus area this morning, Chillicothe. Uh, Lima getting wet, Mansfield about to see some showers and some thunderstorms as well. Uh, let me stop the radar loop here and show you that the uh, Storm Prediction Center does have, I'll take off the radar, uh, the Storm Prediction Center does have a moderate risk of severe weather in this red area from uh, Cincinnati down through Louisville. Um, it's uh, lower end risk as you go farther and farther east. So. We really don't have much of a risk of severe weather. I think around uh, our television viewing area today, the risk goes up as you head towards I-71, and especially down into southwest Ohio and down into southern Indiana and uh, western and northern parts of Kentucky. So that's kind of an overview of the severe weather risk today uh, about our weather itself. I do think that uh, this line of showers and storms probably does some weakening for a time as we go through the, the midday hours today. It may try to re-strengthen a bit as it approaches the uh, Pennsylvania state line this afternoon, but I don't think the ingredients are all there for a, you know, a, a real big severe weather risk for us today. But nonetheless, this is at uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. A, a broken line of showers and embedded thunderstorms could be rolling through around mid-afternoon, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Notice it continues to weaken a little bit. You know, it may strengthen briefly and then weaken a little bit as it rolls on through late in the afternoon. This is 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. And then early evening, likely to be pretty dry, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, not much going on. And another band of storms uh, off to the west, also probably producing a higher severe weather risk down in southern Ohio as opposed to the northern half of the state. So. You know, I'm not looking for much to go on in Northeast Ohio and Western PA this evening. Our main risk for wet weather today appears to be mid to late afternoon. So again, right around three, four, five o'clock, showers some thunder with a very tiny risk of severe weather. Really not impressed with the severe weather risk for us today. What about the weekend? Let's start with Saturday. And what I did last night before 21 News at 11 is I took down the chance of rain uh, in the forecast for Saturday from 60% to 40%. I just don't think there's going to be much coverage of showers and storms here locally on Saturday. It's probably just going to be off to our west, closer to I-77 and out into central Ohio. So here's midday Saturday. There could be a shower around, maybe even a thunderstorm, but notice how kind of widely scattered everything is. It just doesn't look like there's going to be a lot. Um, that'll be the case throughout the afternoon as well. So a more active day, it appears, off to our west. And I'll tell you, the trends for Sunday, also a little bit drier. You know, I think we still have to include the chance of a shower and thunderstorm, but as this upper low, this spinning area off to our west, sinks a little bit to the south, it's going to take most of the moisture a little farther to the south on Sunday. So let me skip ahead to Sunday here. And you'll notice that once you're north of I-70, the model just doesn't, this, this particular model anyway, just doesn't show much. This thing jogs far enough to the south that it keeps the highest risk of wet weather closer to Cincinnati and Athens and points to the south and northern Ohio. While I think we have to include the chance of a shower and storm on Sunday, I just don't see it being tremendously active. And in fact, there's probably quite a bit more dry time than wet time both Saturday and Sunday. So, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions this week about the weekend forecast. It's a weekend in the summer. People have plans. They want to go to Kennywood. They want to go to Cedar Point. They want to have a barbecue. They want to golf, et cetera. Um, and I've been saying, hey, you know, it's not a washout. I've been saying that all week. But now, as, as we get a little bit closer to the weekend, it looks more and more like it's, it's not going to be very wet at all. So plan on the possibility of a shower and storm both Saturday and Sunday. But if it rains, it's going to be brief, and you're going to be kind of unlucky if it does. Uh, most of us won't see much this weekend. We could use some rain. Most of us don't want it on the weekend. But we could use some rain, and, and the chance for showers and storms will increase again as we go into the first half of next week. We'll get some beneficial rains in parts of the area Monday, probably right through Wednesday, Thursday, perhaps even Friday of next week. And it's going to be a very, very muggy week. I'll have an update on the full seven-day forecast this evening on 21 News at 6 and 11, and I'll have updates here on social media and the 21 News uh, app, as well as the Storm Tracker 21 app uh, this afternoon as that uh, line of showers and storms approaches from the west.